The Losing Winner, a weekly review of completed design contests where we try to figure out something very important. What the hell were they thinking? Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com and welcome to The Losing Winner, where we'll delve into the soulless practice of design crowdsourcing. All right, so let's get started. This time around for episode number four, we're going to be focusing on business cards just to change it up a little bit uh, because it's not just logo designs when it comes to uh, design crowdsourcing sites. So uh, looking at this, this is a winning design. And this is, uh, just looking at it, it's not terrible. It's not as bad as some of the other entries we had, you know, for logo design in terms of design. But uh, compared to one of the other entries, it's definitely inferior. And just to point out some issues with this, uh, this reshaping for your life and this portion down here, this type is kind of just all over the place. There's not a good alignment with it, and it feels really cluttered. Plus, you have these uh, gradients right here, which is meant to probably make it look like metal. It's a little bit too much, and it just kind of throws things off. Uh, so here is a uh, alternative one. Now this, it's it's not you know great, but it's definitely better. And if we look at it side by side. This guy won and this guy didn't, so he wasted his time putting this card together, unfortunately. Uh, there's just a lot better alignment in the type and the layout as well. Uh, so unfortunately, that guy lost. Let's check out this another one. Now this, ton of information on it. This guy won. Uh, let's check out uh, another one here. This one isn't w that much better but it's definitely I'd say significantly better uh, at least to the point at which I would say this guy should have won over the other um, it's it is a little bit difficult to see based on the perspective it's a little bit too extreme but if we look at them side by side in terms of layout I th this one's a lot better things are spaced out better this one has a lot of strokes in between the lines separating the content uh, a lot of small fonts all over the place uh, it's just, you know, unfortunately, you know, even this one, though this one isn't, you know, 100% better, it just goes to show you are taking a massive gamble when you're submitting and you're, you know, you're wasting your time essentially um, submitting to these design con contests. So just keep that in mind. Here's another one. Uh, so this is a children's dental care. Now this, uh, just way too much information cluttered here with the type. I. Uh, Everything's kind of just pushed together. It's not a great color scheme either. These two colors kind of clash. Here's another one. Definitely better, uh, pretty much in every aspect. You know, the color theme works a lot better. Uh, the type is laid out a lot better, but this guy completely wasted his time. It just really sucks and the world's not fair. But you know what, you can kind of avoid <laughs> the whole not fair scenario when it comes to design competitions by simply choosing not to enter them. All right, so I'm actually gonna be doing a an experiment um, here in 2015 coming up. I'm going to submit maybe for a week or so uh, a bunch of designs to a, a bunch of logo design competitions uh, at a site like 99designs and I'm going to report back my findings based on each of the competitions. And I'm pretty certain that the results, you know, I, I'm not going to win the majority. I'm not gonna win anywhere near close to the majority. There may be a couple cases where maybe someone did design a better logo than you know, that actually won, but that's not going to be the majority. I can pretty much guarantee. So look out for that video. Um, so yeah, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye.